by statistics, there are more than 10 million users on the DeFi side. If you talk about the STO process, you would have to work at and sync at least four different providers, legal provider, operational, tech, marketing, and so on. If you look at the market of tokenization, today we're not even seeing each other. <laughs> it's not about competition, it's about cooperation. Hi guys, hi everyone. Welcome to Starbucks. Today we yeah, so uh, my name is Gene Day from sale of the company, sale of Starbucks. We have Ross, Chief Operating Officer here with us. We have Igor, who is Chief Operating Officer of Starbucks Exchange, and Max Rubin, uh, CFO guy. So again, welcome everybody. And as you know, every week we go through uh, Starbucks developments, our recent activities, and today we're also gonna speak about what happened uh, last week, what are and what were the main focus for us and what we're doing at the moment. And uh, today we're gonna focus on answering of your questions that uh, a lot of people have, uh, have sent to us from our community. So we'll be happy to provide more insightful answers on whatever your your questioning, but uh, you know, let's let's move on. So, uh, just I will give you a brief outlook of what happened last week. Also, uh, if you follow Starbucks activities, if you follow our development, you can see that we're publishing uh, weekly reports again on a weekly basis. So you can go um, to our blog and uh, and have a look at this, find out exactly what we're doing from the from the roadmap standpoint. Uh, so just to give you a brief uh, brief outlook, uh, we're finishing a redesign and refactoring of our dashboard product. We have several companies waiting, outstanding to perform security token offering on our software on the dashboard. And this week, uh, as well as last week, we were focusing on finishing up the development of the DS dashboard. So we're gonna have um, we're gonna have a live session with our first client, Mariana Mining, uh, which is gonna happen on this Thursday. I don't actually remember the exact time, but uh, you can find that out. So we're going to speak about their STO and how Starbucks uh, helps to actually perform their security token offering. So that's from uh, DS dashboard standpoint. Also, we are focusing on the second part of the dashboard, which is a swap, security swap. And this is exact perfect timing when we start uh, focus on that from the architectural standpoint. And I know that some of you were asking what is L2? means uh, for Starbucks, I can, uh, you know, I will explain that later on, stay with us. So uh, our swap for the securities will be hopefully based on the L2 protocol. So that's something uh, regarding STO and the securities part. From the exchange standpoint, uh, we're building API. This is still uh, a complex process for us. We're building and testing our API. First of all, to be able to connect to liquidity providers to make sure we have uh, enough depth for uh, the trading uh, activity of our uh, of our users. So that's uh, what we're focusing at the moment in terms of the Starbucks exchange. And I hope that within the next two to four weeks, again, uh, hot month of August, uh, will be very hard from the development standpoint of the Starbucks exchange. So we're gonna we're gonna continue with a more aggressive marketing of our exchange starting from uh, September. So that's a brief outlook of what's happening on the development side. Also, I would like to mention that we're working on the um, LP mining. It's uh, based on uh, Ethereum network on the Uniswap V2. 
but uh, we know that uh, we don't actually we would like to have our liquidity pool uh, much deeper than we have at the moment and uh, we used to have a usdt liquidity pool it's no longer workable so we'd like to restore it and restoring it via provision not only for the staking opportunity for our community members but also for the pooling which basically is um, a liquidity liquidity mining where you guys can uh, help us by creating a liquidity by staking uh let's say your lps with our uh, infrastructure but again that's something that we're still in the development mode and hopefully by the end of this week we will be ready to release it and to tell you more on that so that's uh, all the updates from my side ross thank you yeah great Jean. thank you hello guys uh, i want to add and i want to mention that uh, today's stream have a main focus on answering your questions uh, so we will let you know and share with you some updates and new developments of our company and there we'll go straight to the questions prepared questions from 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 uh, the community and live questions from you uh, and for the most three interested questions we will reward uh, the participants of uh, 500 SWs so please uh, ask uh, your questions if you have something and I want to mention that we are currently also in the process of listing with uh, two tier one exchanges as you know it takes some time and we're currently working on that on that so currently we are in the process and also uh, today we announced it, the, that we have already distributed uh, all uh, rewards uh, to the participants of the second bounty program on Stobox Exchange. So check check out your uh, your account and see your uh, rewards on on the Stobox Exchange. Uh, last week, uh, from the production perspective, uh, from the marketing. Uh, we announced uh, their uh, analytical article, their educational article about the staking, and you can check it uh, on our blog and uh, share your thoughts about it. Uh, also, uh, we have published on our YouTube their video from our co-founder Boris Pikalov uh, about the security tokens and uh, share a compliant uh, digital assets, very actual questions uh, from APAC region. Uh, and also we announced their educational article about tokenization of natural resources and use cases of that, uh, because uh, as you know, guys, there are a lot of industries where uh, STO works best and works better and natural resources, it is one of them. And this week also, uh, we will um, we will do uh, once we finish the live stream, we will publish the best questions. We, we will make the post production, cut this video, and publish it on on uh, our main YouTube channel. And uh, also, we are planning to uh, conduct, as uh, Jean mentioned, the live stream with our first STO client, Mariana Mining. It is mining company from Georgia. During the live stream, uh, we will present this project and it uh, also a great investment opportunity for our communities uh, because uh, we are preparing all the STO process for this client. And if you will like this project, it could be a great opportunity for you as well. So the live stream, as Jean mentioned, will be conducted on Thursday at 4 p.m. GMT time. Uh, and also uh, we are planning to uh, release and, uh, and pu publish the updates about the referral program on the Stobox exchange because uh, last week we have updated our environment, yep, Jin, and currently the referral program uh, of the Stobox Exchange is uh, available. So you have the possibility to check uh, how many participants joined the Stobox Exchange through your uh, referral link. Yep. Absolutely. 
Yep, great. So uh, also uh, last week we announced that uh, we successfully participated uh, in the creation uh, of the vision uh, of virtual assets in cooperation with Ministry of Digital Transformation of Ukraine. And we are continue, continue uh, communicating and contributing to our key partners uh, to educate the, the market and to share our expertise, uh, to share this unique expertise with uh, participants and with uh, competent authorities, as well as participating in round tables with GDF. And as I know, Boris Pikalov, our third co-founder, contributed to the uh, July's uh, monthly report of Global Digital Finance Association that will be released in a few days. So stay tuned. Perfect. Igor, Perfect. if you have some updates, you, you have five minutes to to share your thoughts and updates that you have. Thank you. Thank you, Ross. Thank you, Jean. <laughs> um, you already tell about uh, exchange everything. <laughs> I just could remind <laughs> <Fortunately>. the community. <laughs> I just could remind community that uh, bounty participants, you could already check your rewards on your Starbox account. Uh, we already finished the referral program, so also you could check this point. And remind you guys that, uh, as Jin mentioned before, that we are now focusing on a tech part of exchange. So that's why we are not um, strong promoting uh, our exchange. Tech part is more necessary, more necessary now because you know, uh, for fiat integration we need API for listing on some uh, listing sites like uh, Coin Market Cap, Coin Deco, etc., etc., etc. It everything needs the API and tech documentation from our side, so we are focusing on it now, uh, and this is what we are doing now. Um, regarding uh, our updates. Uh, you already know about it. In the last uh, video, we tell you about uh, our roadmap, what we plan, what we will do. So you could check it uh, in our website. And probably <laughs> this is it's all because <laughs> you all guys um, tell about everything, what happened now. Yep, uh, I Igor, Igor me means that uh, currently we successfully launched uh, our public beta of the Stopbox Exchange and you uh, thank you for your contribution and we uh, conducted uh, a lot of improvements uh, in our stobox exchange to finalize uh, our pr 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 product from the uh, beta launch perspective and uh, to to prepare all necessary nuances uh, to make the powerful main launch of their product and to find from the first days of their public uh, official launch their market fit and to provide their convenient solutions for our target audience so in I this guess. case yeah in this case all your suggestions and all your uh, bug bounties actions and uh, all of your thoughts uh, were very efficient for us yeah and very helpful for us i just want also remind you why it's so long as you think, because it's not white label. We are built it from ourselves, from from so, scratch. <laughs> yes, from scratch. So that's why we are focusing more, uh, more our activities to, to, to the tech part. So be patient. Soon we will announce when will the main launch, uh, and hope you will enjoy with us. This is a great product. Um, I guess we could switch to the questions, and maybe maybe Max, if you have something to add you could add. I also would like to summarize it. Yes, perfect. <laughs> Please. Yes. Uh, Max, if you have something to say, please do. Otherwise, I'll summarize and we'll move on to the questions and answers. Please go ahead. It's 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 hard it's hard to uh, to add anything after after all three of you had had spoken maybe in the perfect. So there's something that I would like to uh, to point out. So as, as already said, we're finishing on the dashboard 2.0. Our own infrastructure, our own uh, security tokens, STBX, and the environment will be updated at the end of this week. 
So it will be live in the beginning of next week, fully workable on the production level, which means that we are now focusing on our security token offering. It's a very important, we have to secure the funds and for our future growth, we're securing $1 million at the valuation of Tsanam of our Starbucks Technologies Inc. That's the, that's the main company. So we are now focusing on uh, speaking to uh, individuals, to funds, to angels, to our community, as uh, one of our main goals is to perform the STO the way that we actually um, see it. And we have also already received uh, a set of commitments from our partners, from our investors. And uh, we hope that we will uh, close this round very shortly. It's also very important to say that once we close the round, and it's a very unique situation is on the market, that usually secondary trading is not unlocked before, uh, you know, meanwhile, the company is at non-IPO stage or at least secondary trading is somehow uh, controlled by the brokers. In our case, in the case of STO, secondary trading will be unlocked after we perform the STO. And we have a lot of news and we have a lot of fundamentals, as you may, as you may know, that, and we have a lot of clients that are, uh, would, would go basically the same way as we do with an STO. So we uh, pretty much uh, strongly believe that, uh, that the future of our security token is kind of, uh, is bright and safe. So uh, again, it's very important to mention that it's not a classical startup. It's not a business where you invest and you have no liquidity option with Starbucks, with how we're gonna implement the decentralized trading protocol. And we use the DEX and this is a Starbucks swap for trading and swapping security tokens of our company that will be unlocked within month or so uh, after we complete our security token offering. So if you have any questions on the product, if you're a member of the fund, if you're a startup, if you're a potential investor, if you are interested in STO, write down to us. Uh, starting from next week, we will start uh, spreading more information on how to use the dashboard, on how to use it from the business perspective, from the investor's perspective and why we believe that's the, this, that that's the future of the investments in comparison to the old legacy systems of, let's say, non-tradable uh, shares and so on. So please stay focused. And that's one of our focus. That's exactly what I want to uh, share with you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you, Jean. Uh, thank you. So guys, let's go straight to the second part of our uh, session of our live stream. It is the answering the questions from our community that uh, that we have. And the first question is, hi, does Stobox work on their use case of SWU? What will be the most interesting use case that will drive the value of not only the company, but especially the value of SWU? Gene, Max, it will be great if you could answer. Um, let me answer that. Initially, when we when we were creating and we are thinking about the business model, obviously we put SDBU as the commission uh, commission token, and whatever we uh, perform any trades on our uh, technology, SDBU is used uh, as the utility token on that. But we all understand that. Uh, moving and actually promoting Stobox exchange, which is a centralized exchange uh, in our business uh, reality, it's, it's only viable via new corporate clients that were on board as the security token offering clients. So they have a double model where, uh, where they have a utility token and security and security token. So we, we 
less than utility tokens on our exchange. And, uh, you know, it may be a long journey. I understand that uh, not many investors would like to wait that much. So what we're doing at the moment is very important that maybe that's, I know already the question, so maybe I'm kind of answering already the second one, but I think they're very connected uh, in terms of the most, I think the most impact on us to be you will be short term, short term done by uh, liquidity provision. So that's the demand that would have on us to be you to get the reward. But again, that's the speculation part from the natural from the organic uh, demand. Uh, we are working on the L2 um, L2 protocol and also part of the technology. As we all know that Ethereum network is uh, switching to layer two protocols, which dramatically uh, in decrease the commission level and dramatically increase the speed of transactions. So what we're doing at the moment is that we're looking how uh, staking and uh, farming and basically these DAFI technologies can be put on the L2 model where it will be much faster and much uh, quicker, especially given the fact that uh, this technology has to be used for security token swap. So we kind of uh, bring two worlds into one product. We need to have that secondary protocol for our digital securities. And we also work on the crypto side of that. So, and where SDBU would be the main fuel to create a pool, regardless if it's a security token or utility token. So we're talking about the cre pool creation on our infrastructure, uh, where the rewards would be uh, paid in SDBU tokens. So that's probably kind of similar uh, similar ideology to whatever Pancake did, but Pancake is on the Binance. Uh, we definitely don't go that way. Uh, we look at the Ethereum as the main infrastructure, and we we'll look at the level two or Ethereum point two as the main uh, technical infrastructure. And I think the demand for such products in the close future would be overwhelming. And uh, we believe that we will launch that technology, uh, you know, any, anytime soon. So that's something that also corresponds to the DS swap. But again, we try to increase the functionality of DS swap from digital securities to basically to any digital assets on ERC-20 standard. Mm -hmm. So that, that's a second and main uh, driver of uh, a STBU price and of a STBU demand. And also I have a different other, like our customers sometimes pay for, uh, with STBU for our services. Uh, we definitely charge them per trading fee. Uh, so, you know, there's even some merch can be sold in, uh, in STBU tokens. So we believe that sometime soon we will have a massive demand on that coming from LP, from staking, and then from uh, DAFI processes, DAFI activity on our own infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Yep, Jin, thank you for a detailed answer. The second one, what partners does the team already have? I know there are some unannounced deals and collaborations. This uh, answer uh, I will answer uh, by myself. Uh, as you know, guys, <laughs> building uh, their fully digital assets ecosystem very hard to build uh, alone. <laughs> That's why uh, we are connected uh, through and we are building our own network of our partnerships. So one of them are, for example, associations. We, uh, we are the active participant of two associations. One of them, it is Crypto Valley. 
it is the most recognized uh, blockchain association in Europe. They are originally from Switzerland. And second one, it is global digital finance. And uh, we are um, working with uh, companies, uh, for example, in GDF, uh, the members uh, such as Stobox are uh, the recognized company such as Bitfinex, uh, such as Cardano Foundation, Chainalysis, Coinbase, uh, Consensus, uh, Dash, Ersent Young, Ethereum Classic, Huobi, Ledger, and many others. And working together uh, in working groups and uh, contributing to the reports, we collaborate with this company. Uh, it's open for us the potential synergies and potential use cases of SW, of SWX, of our products, of Stobox Exchange, of Stobox dash dashboard, and uh, etc. And also, we are the active participants of Crypto Valley, as I mentioned. And you can see that. Uh, they have the members such as Bitpanda, um, Algo Trader, it is very recognized uh, liquidity provider. Um, the companies uh, such as KPMG, Kraken, Ledger, Empty Pelerin, Stobox, of course. And uh, collaborating with Crypto Valley. Uh, we are doing together some uh, marketing activities and I know that uh, in this autumn we scheduled uh, some conferences and some together live streams to educate their European uh, market about uh, digital securities. And it is one part of our network. It is association. The second part, it is uh, digital authorities and uh, regulators around the world. So we are currently uh, working with a Ministry of Digital Transformation of Ukraine because we are originally from Ukraine and we advise uh, to the Ministry uh, regarding the building the strategy of development of virtual assets because it is one of the key focuses of our government to provide the solution because as you know we have a very talented uh, talented blockchain developers and for example the first ASIC miner was created in Ukraine that's why we are the most active country in the world of blockchain and that's why we uh, help our country uh, to be uh, attractive from the jurisdiction perspective and to attract uh, some capital and to develop their Ukrainian activities. And also we worked with a multi-digital innovation authority and we also created a book that you can download uh, on our website, the book about how to make the STO in a proper way that we are created with uh, MDA, with Malta, Malta regulator. Also, we have a big part and important part of our legal partners. It is RLP lawyers, uh, it is UNA partners, it is a very recognized uh, lawyers from uh, US, such as Super Lawyer, uh, Josh, uh, and uh, as you know, one of the important part of the STO process, it is legal side because we are running under uh, act of securities and under the securities laws. And that's why it is very important to be compliant with all legal regulations in different countries. That's why we have more than 10 legal providers around the world uh, to help Stobox uh, consult uh, our clients uh, regarding uh, the best cases by scenarios of, of their STO. And uh, also we have uh, uh, tech partners such as uh, Ideologic that help developing of our products and contributing to our products. And uh, for example, they are creating currently all of our, uh, help us to create uh, all of our DeFi activities and uh, developing Stobox exchange. And during this process, we facing uh, some dependency of recognized services that we are using. And one of them, it is their key management tools, uh, Tatum, uh, that are currently on uh, our exchange, uh, encoded in, uh, in our exchange. And uh, we are working with them uh, as well. Uh, also, we are 
very active and I I would to say that we are the most active tokenization provider in in the world because we are producing a lot of professional content and we are contributing for example for medias such as BTC news blockchain use security SEO the tokenist the tokenizer uh, this very recognized niche medias uh, of digital assets and digital securities because we want to share our thoughts, share our expertise with the market, with the businesses to educate what tokenization is and to spread the world with Stobox services and Stobox products. So to sum up, we are building the full ecosystem of digital assets and partners it is very key it is a key element of these activities because we cannot do all at once alone that's why we have the partners uh, in general from more than 30 countries that help uh, provide the great solutions for our uh, clients and for mariana mining as well uh, to provide the best consulting services and uh, from tech and from legal perspective as well Okay, Same. guys. <laughs> yeah, and I will combine the offline questions questions that we have from our community and online to stimulate to ask the questions uh, currently during the live stream. And one of the questions that we have now online it is: What is your advantages over tokeny, polymath, or others? I think it is uh, questions uh, from the STO perspective. Let me answer that. Uh, sure. So first of all, uh, our focus, and originally we started as the consulting company. We never started as a tech company. So uh, we did a th tens of thousands of hours of research uh, on how to do an STO. We have conducted a series of advisory works for different clients even though we didn't have any technical or technological uh, piece of software for that. We started development after we found out what actually STO is <laughs> and how to structure it. Uh, as Ross mentioned, we have legal providers all over the world and we combine perfect knowledge and we actually do. Uh, in our pipeline, we focus all in one yeah, Max saying that we wrote a book on that. Uh, it's a good, I mean, imagine you're a business. It's difficult for you to work with uh, at least four providers. If you talk about the STO process, you would have to work at, and sync at least four different providers. Legal provider, operational, tech, marketing, and so on. With Stobox, you can have a one dedicated manager and then it's our own uh, activity on how to perform best. So we may structure you, uh, structure the offering, and with the help of our, uh, a, you know, Swiss, Swiss uh, uh, advisors, or with the help of a German advisor, a US advisor, still we're gonna manage whole process. I'm not uh, saying that we're better than someone, I'm just saying that uh, it's much easier for our customers to, to follow that way. That's the first thing. Second, we have our own vision on that because many companies, uh, they either create a framework to create an STO or uh, see STO as the tool for the public company. So instead of being traded on officially recognized stock exchanges, uh, a, a public company can be traded on the blockchain. Uh, we know that exists, but that's not where we go. Our main activity and our main focus is to be able to bring tokenization to private companies, to small companies, uh, where it's just impossible for them to, for being public for small and medium enterprise, what they call the SMEs, for companies that do not seek IPO and who would like to remain private. For those companies, uh, 
they having us an, as an advisor, as the technical provider, as the support, because we're going to support from A to Z. And obviously it's costs, obviously it's a process. Uh, it's a new process. It's a new way of fundraising. It's a new way of management of managing digital stocks, but that's our focus. So I, just to add up, if you look at the market of tokenization today, we're not even seeing each other. <laughs> it's not about competition. It's about cooperation because uh, whatever guys do from, uh, you know, from our market, from tokeny, from, uh, from Swarm, from all the others. I, will, I wish all good luck for them. They're creating the industry. It was never an existing industry. It's still under, under-evaluated. Uh, it's still an emerging industry. So more uh, traction and more activity that industry will perform, better figures and more clients we will, you know, we will see within the market. So I believe it's about uh, it's not about competition, and uh, we definitely we definitely see ourselves as the as one of the providers, global providers for tokenization of securities. I'm completely agree with Eugene that it is not a competition; it is cooperation. And I want to mention that a part of them are part of our network as well, network of partnerships. For example, Crypto Six. Uh, the company from the Singapore that providing the tokenization services there, the Standard Capital Company uh, from Asia as well, Reino from the US that providing the uh, solutions for the real estate market. So we have uh, a lot of partners that help us as well. And we are educating the market as, uh, through their media, through their analytical content, to educate businesses and it is great not only for Stobox but for uh, of course for our competitors as well that's why we're collaborating to educate and to open uh, the new possibilities for the companies because 99.9 percent of all of the companies in the world are private <laughs> and we are focusing on the private companies so it is a huge trillion market and the main point it is the education awareness and knowledge about these solutions yeah i also would like i also would like to add that um you know in in any in any economics class of any maybe first or second year you will you will always know if if the industry or i don't know the, the part the part of the product that, that that is being developed is is at this like embryonic stage then the more um, the more companies there are, uh, maybe you know com competing per se, but you know the the, the 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 bigger the number of initial companies there is, the better quality there is, and the more buzz it creates, in terms of the awareness, in terms of the uh, future adoption. Because if there will be only one company, say from you know Singapore or South or or South America, they will just be you know developing mostly that market where they're you know mainly mainly reside but if we have if we have several several companies and we we all believe in we all believe in 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 the, in the tokenization and of, of private companies instead of them you know growing to the sizes of a 10 year old or a 15 year old company in order to enable themselves to go to nasdaq or whoever and pay like a lot of money for it then obviously this uh, this ownership structure and the freedom and the freedom of of, of finance of, of, of finance options and 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 implementation just just for the, for general people and for companies as well would be just much you know as as easy as sending in, in, you know as sending an email and I believe that, that 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 would be so maybe you know in two in two or three years when people just realize that with the tools that we that we create and that other companies create it could be well uh, it can be it can be well achieved because most of the people didn't even know like how like i personally did, did, didn't even know several years ago how to how to like you know whatever pain crypto right now mm -hmm. see the title so that's the, the i will also add from crypto side thank you mark is that we already have a working product not prototype not mvp we're not raising money via ico ieo ido etc 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 this is if you know what I mean, this this is what we are doing now. 
Yeah, real deal. Deal. plural, my friend. Plural. Yes. <laughs> real deal, one stop shop <laughs> with many products <laughs> already live. And with real clothes, not like not the blah blah show, you know. <laughs> yes. yes. My last point uh, to sum up what Jin mentioned. So what is our competitive advantage that we uh, have all at once? So we're providing the convenient solutions for the STO clients because currently uh, through other tokenization providers, you need to find your uh, consulted, uh, consulting advisors. You need to find the legal guys. You need to find the tech guys. You need to find their guys who will do the marketing for you. And every time you need to explain your nuances of your project uh, and to combine uh, all in, in, in one uh, in one form uh, and to educate what STR is. And you pay for this education for the lawyers and uh, to uh, other participants. And we did this mistake. <laughs> That's why currently we help companies to uh, to not spend uh, a lot of costs for the STO and to make it successful. Yeah, one but, proper one-stop shop. That's what it is. And, the, and um, also, after about all of this, we have a secondary market trading product for for trading these securities this yeah you, you mentioned before solution like this in our competitors for example i heard that they have some plans to 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 provide these services like we have but now it's also it, it's only small talk yep Yep, guys. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for your uh, commitments and uh, let's move on for for for, for your yeah, yeah. Let's let's move. The, we have the third questions, uh, prepared questions from the community during the last week. So, uh, what is the unique selling point of the Stobox Exchange compared to other exchanges? So, I am forwarding these questions to you, Igor. Oh, thank you. Very good questions. As we know. Everyone knows the most important things for the action. This is safety and regulation. We are the most safe actions <laughs> now because we are not, as uh, we mentioned before, we, we, we didn't buy some uh, white labels. We started building from uh, ourselves and we try to find all mistakes and uh, everything from uh, our side to, to, to provide for you some security. And Second part, this is regulations. We will be fully regulated in uh, uh, BVI. Uh, soon we will have a document uh, from this part. Uh, this is uh, from two most important things uh, about whole actions. And uh, also what I could add, this is, is um, our features. Our features based on, we, we will not have some margin trading, futures trading, not some trailing stops or whatever it is, not trading. We are more for investments. In our exchange, you will invest in product like we will invest. You will have the maybe 20, maybe 30, but only selected product projects, which we will choose for you. You will not be able to do some due diligence for them. We will prepare this product. We will list this product. For you and we they, then you could invest in this product this is a uh, i would like to add of course <laughs> please <laughs> please finish i will add up please please okay uh by statistics there are more than 10 million users on the DeFi side so from all the population of potential users of decentralized finance, all the market is being grown on the amount of 10 million of people. Uh, if you look at the barriers, informational barriers to entry to those market, and I guess most of that 10 million of people are somehow related to IT or close to IT. Uh, if you look at the non-IT market and we have conducted service, uh, the barrier to entry to that market is just insane. You have to know what a MetaMask is, 
you have to make sure that you uh, uh, create the wallets, save the wallets, uh, proceed, stake, and stake. I mean, guys, it's a very complex thing. I mean, there's a book written on DeFi. So, so the barrier for a typical person that would like to invest, let's say, $1,000 on a monthly basis, 12000 a year, into an alternative to what he does in a bank, where he can go create an account. Okay, that's a centralized account. Okay, it's not a DeFi. I mean, he has an option to study that all, or he has an option to go to a simple exchange, to a simple uh, environment, and invest and, uh, you know, spread his risks and to invest into selected products, selected projects that actually create uh, the crypto industry. And we all, I mean, the, the people who are in the industry, they, we all know those names. We, <clears throat> and I think the number of that assets, uh, you know, are pretty much less than a hundred. And uh, we follow the market. And that's exactly one to one to give, one to give a non-sophisticated users. Uh, that's why uh, a fiat connection is very important to us, because our users uh, on, this, on the centralized exchange are not uh, kids who play with Binance for already three, five years. You know, we're not trying to compete with Binance. But what we're going to do is that we're going to be more customer friendly. And we're going to be more easier to play with and easier to invest and more safe from making a mistake because we're not pushing people to the margin trading. We don't push people to the futures. We just stick to a simple thing and it's a perfect market to be. We say, listen, we have, we will have like 50 uh, digital assets on the balance. And you can go and be safe investing and finding out it's a it's a crazy market just to learn it and and Starbucks is the entrance to that market without you know having a desire to basically uh margin call you on 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 a second yeah it is it is it is honest approach because it is, approach. It, it is not comfortable for us currently to make for you their uh, swing highs and swing lows <laughs> with your margin calls. Because I believe 10 people, 10 million of people working on a DAFI and what's it's a more than 100 million uh, wallets that were active in the past 12 months. I mean, that's a huge market potential. And I believe more and more companies will be present on the decentralized side. Uh, those companies need uh, and they seek investors they seek capital so we believe that traditional people should should look uh on the decentralized technologies via starbucks and invest there via starbucks in a much simpler way than reading daffy for dummies mm -hmm. yeah thank you gene and regarding what you mentioned we uh, we have a great question from the mic um what is the greater challenge for the investors on way to start investing in digital securities? Um, that's that's a really good question. I you know I think that's um, first of all it's awareness on how things are being done, and uh, that's exactly what we're working at the moment. Uh, we're building the support and the flows that you know make that flow kind of easier to digest for a person because a lot of people already aware, again, those 10 millions that I was speaking about on the DAFI side, at least aware of how to buy and sell and swap from, uh, from a traditional STO people that don't even know that. So we were, <laughs> and you know, it's a hell of a job because we try to create a traditional flow, which is, uh, which is based on decentralized flow, which is based on the blockchain. So I think the main challenge is the awareness and uh, the readiness of people, you know, to play with. And to, to, uh, to accomplish that, I think that we need more clients. And exactly, that's exactly that we're working on. We will have, and already we have, what I think it's eight committed STOs, on the platform of uh, of the dashboard, so it's not our investors; it's their investors who are gonna go and buy their stocks 
tokenized. And we will provide, first of all, we will learn from the experience and we will contribute by you know, gathering perfect knowledge. So if the adoption, and uh, we, you know, with the, with the dashboard, with our vision, with the clients rolling up, we, you know, I think that we have to have, you know, to, 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 to create that flow in a perfect understanding way for, 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 the, for the investor. And I think once the investor be more safe, uh, you know, investing in those securities, uh, we will, well, he will see or she will see the uh, dividends paying on how they're being paid. So more traction goes. Uh, I think uh, more and more investors will look into securities uh, on the blockchain. I hope I answered your question. Mm -hmm. Yep, Jean, thank you. We have the second question from, from Jan. Uh, you mentioned that you see Asia as a key market. Are there any specific plans on how you want to approach this market, like a marketing campaign, business partners, or exchange listings, or your focuses? Ross, will you answer that? Yep. So uh, fr from my perspective and what I see that Asia, it is very attractive and perspective uh, region uh, for the digital assets because they have a very high level of adoption uh, of using the digital, digital assets. And uh, currently we see their uh, big evolution and development, for example, from uh, from Japan, from China, uh, from Malaysia, uh, from Asia countries regarding the digital assets in general. It is uh, regarding the DeFi activities, their uh, blockchain wallets created, uh, their activities on exchanges, uh, because uh, they are uh, historically very um, high adopted uh, from the tech perspective. And we at Stobox, we uh, see and we think that it is uh, this market fits for us as well. That's why what I mentioned in my first part of answering the questions, we are building the network, the small bridges to the, to the Asian countries and to Asian markets through the local providers, tokenization providers, for example, uh, crypto providers, we are listed on Probit and we are opening for our communities, the Korean communities as well. Currently, we're communicating with other exchanges from Asia and from the, around the world to opening the communities there. Uh, also, uh, we uh, tested, we have already tested uh, the uh, Asian market through our uh, Lucky Bull initiative through our merch and uh, you can see, you can Google that we are currently posting in the top uh, Asian media such as uh, Coindesk, such as um, we have the number of that that are published uh, the news about the Stobox. And um, yeah, please, Igor. I would just want to add that we plan to achieve a China market. In Asia, of course, we have their friends. We have friends from Gate.io. We provided a, a few times, a few days ago, a few, few weeks ago. I'm a session with them. We have friends from other exchange. Now we are focusing on our product, and then we will provide a marketing in uh, other areas. We want to enter to the market with already uh, contacted product, and provide this product through their community because they didn't like to, to only heard about we will plan to do something. They want to see already existed product and already working product. We plan to do this marketing activities. We plan to do some uh, collaborations, of course. As you could see, we are now on Probit Exchange. We are now on Gate Exchange. Soon will be other exchange. This is just a question of time when we will start to promote the, uh, our activities uh, in, in in this area. This is yes, please, Jim. Please. 
I would like also to add one thing. Thank you, Igor. Thank you, Russ. That we can't be uh, we can't be everywhere at the same time. So uh, the the roadmap towards Asia is not how we go there, but is who are we going there with? And uh, therefore, it would be. I mean, we'll understand that opening new markets. <clears throat> For the real business, it implies working with the local partners. So uh, we definitely did not go there by ourselves. And we are definitely looking for the partners who uh, who can we, can we can go with. Again, we have a series of products, uh, demanded products. After we launch the DeFi part on the L2, uh, that will be a game changer as well. Interesting in, uh, in regions like uh, Hong Kong, Singapore, and Japan, who are very uh, attracted by the securities token offering. So there'll be more chemistry there. And again, we will be looking and we, st and we are looking on the long-term partnership with the local providers, with the local funds, with the local uh, uh, fintech companies or marketing companies or any players that can, you know, that can bring value and that can promote uh, our partnership on the Asian side. So we definitely seek perfect knowledge. We seek perfect partnership in that region. And we definitely will be looking at that region via the partnerships. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yep. So answer this question. Thank you. Uh, thank you, guys. Um, moving forward, so three minutes left. So uh, I think it's, it should be a last question, guys. Yep, let's do. I highly believe in Stobox and team behind it. What do we have in pipeline to reach bigger audience worldwide? I would call it Mission Stobox Moon. <laughs> Uh, if that's a question to me, uh, man, we have we have a lot of activities. I mean, uh, we are saving the budget on the marketing side. I know that there is, uh, and you know, I'm very responsible on that, uh, being the chairman and CEO of the company. I really believe that marketing can be a game changer, but uh, you have to build a product first, and we know that for, for the crypto market, being two years on, on the market is already, <laughs> it's already a long time. Uh, on 1st of August, we've celebrated our three year anniversary. Uh, why? Because we try to be rational. Uh, we try to build products and to test them with a local exposure, with a minimum exposure. We are building the team we're not spending fortune on the marketing side. Once we gain more traction on the STO, once we finish our activity on the Stobox exchange and move it from the beta version to the real live version, I mean, it's a live as well, but from, in, from the beta to the full product version, then we have all the tools available to actually capture the demand. And then our marketing activity, our marketing dollar would have the maximum ROI uh, because the person who would see our advertising, who would see our products, uh, you know, could easily go there, use them and enjoy and stay with us. So as of now, we're still on the pipeline towards that, you know, towards that from a security standpoint, from the, uh, from the DAFI standpoint, from the, uh, Stobox exchange standpoint, but that's that's a perfect time to you know we, we're moving on, we're building the team. Our we have two token system. Our shares uh, are being offered to the market. Our utility token is being traded and will be utilized in all of our products. And we have a great community. Thanks to you guys, we're building it up. And definitely we will scale it when the demand will be perfectly captured by our products and not anytime sooner. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thank you, Jean. 
for your answer, I think we run out of the time. Uh, my feedback is that it, it was a great format uh, communicating with our community and answering all your questions. That's why p uh, please visit our next live session next Monday and ask- Comment on this. Please comment on this. Tell us, tell us what you think. Share your thoughts. Uh, share your advices. Uh, very important. I mean, we're all in the same boat. We all bring, you know, deliver technologies. If you think that you can be helpful to Starbucks, you know, as a as the as the member of the team, as the potential advisor, as the um, partner, as whatever you feel, uh, share your thoughts with us. You know, we 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 walking uh, our talk. Uh, you know, we make mistakes. Uh, we create products. That's a journey that we are on. So uh, you know, we're very frank with you and stay with us and share whatever you feel to share with us, guys. Yeah, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you for your questions. Stay you tuned. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.